Nearly 90 million Americans are now in the grip of dangerous cold as the polar vortex spreads across more of the country. The icy conditions caused a school bus to overturn. Fortunately, authorities report all the students only had minor injuries. North of California and Washington State, KOMONews.com reports troopers responded to at least 170 spinouts. At the polar vortex, it's now affecting areas of the upper Midwest, and we're seeing temperatures now uh, with wind chills in the negative 50 to 60 degree range. Take a look at tonight. We're going to drop down into the low to mid 20s here around the metro area. Some spots might even be into the teens again. You see, that's not here in Alabama. In fact, today is shorts weather. It right now is 79 degrees outside at lunchtime. I hate the fact that everybody in the north is getting pounded with freezing temperatures and snow, but it's hot down here in Alabama. In the next four days, it will dip down to 59. That will be our low. Today, we're actually gonna do a spy cam review on uh, a few spy cameras, one of which we've already done, but I wanted to compare it to another one that's similar. But uh, I'm running low on time lapse. I need more time lapse, especially ones where I'm doing the intro that where I can put the date and the episode number and all that in. So right now I'm in downtown Dothan and I'm filming just a few of them, one of which you saw in the opening of this video. But after, after I get done checking out and filming some of these sites from downtown Dothan, Alabama, we'll check out a couple of uh, really cool spy cameras I think you guys will enjoy. In case uh, some of you haven't noticed, I have been learning how to make my time lapse a little more cinematic like uh, if you haven't paid attention in the last few episodes I'll make the time-lapse where they're moving or something to that nature it's time-lapse are a big part of my videos I use one in every single episode and because I use the time-lapse in every single episode and because of that I go through a lot of time-lapse so I am constantly having to stop and get time-lapse everywhere and anywhere I go. If you've ever shot a time lapse, it, it, you have to take them over time. So it, it's very time consuming. You, it, essentially you're taking six, 700, 800 pictures over an hour or two time frame. And then once you put it all together, it turns into a 25, 30 second clip, I guess for um, general purposes, because I am talking about it. I will show you a few of the clips that I took from downtown Dothan, Alabama. These are raw, they're unedited. They have not been adjusted, uh, like sped up or slowed down in certain parts or zoomed in on certain parts. They're just the raw clips themselves. At this point, I've gotten six or seven new time lapse. I've uh, been here in downtown Dothan for the last several hours. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, I'm gonna move into the spy camera portion of this. Now, as I said earlier, one of the cameras we have seen before, but one of the new ones that I wanna test is very, very similar to it. So I kinda wanna put them side by side. You guys remember the water bottle camera that I tested? Today, I'm gonna put that water bottle camera up against another camera made by the same exact company, 
in the same kind of similar format. It's uh, a camera made into a drinking utensil. I'm gonna put the water bottle up against the coffee cup spy camera. Now, I will do an unboxing and show you the coffee cup camera. I probably won't do one for the water bottle because I've already done it. And if you wanna see the unboxing of the water bottle, you can come and uh, check out this video that I will put right here and you can see how it's unboxed and how it even works and all that basically I just pulled this out just to withdraw the video from it and put it side by side against the coffee cup this is pretty cool over here behind me where I'm shooting see this this is like a water slide for a water park that's here in Dothan called Waterworld and um well obviously they're closed right now because of the time of season even though it's 80 degrees and they could be open they are closed until probably like march or april or something like that but uh it's still kind of cool to see the park behind us even though it's empty I'm at my hotel for the night, but before we left home, another spy camera came in. I'm really proud of it, and I'm really excited to check it out. This one is a coffee cup. We are going to open up this coffee cup camera. It comes in this nice box. It's displayed very well. This is the coffee cup, which is just paper. You see, I can squeeze it just like any regular cup. And this is where all the good stuff is. This is the camera. You untwist this top to access the insides. It does have a drinking spout, so you can drink through it if you're being incognito. Right here is the camera. They just, and it just sits on top of the cup like so. In the box, it does come with a straw. So you may be thinking, what happens if I tear up the cup, it's just paper, right? Then all I'm left with is just this piece, uh, which would be hard to be incognito with it. Well, I'll show you. This cup was just a uh, cup I had from earlier. I am going to use this just regular, I think it's like a 16 ounce or 18 ounce cup and uh, we can just, we'll try it on this. If this one were to tear up, we should be able to take any cup and place this lid on like so and it's a perfect fit. You see here in the top or we'll insert a straw. Refreshing. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is the coffee cup lid that I am testing right now. Here we are in its full format, completely put together. There's Bella and Amy getting ready for work. There's Bella. Hey, Bella. A downfall that I do see, you can't start and stop the video without unscrewing the top piece. It's the only way to start and stop the video. This is a test of the water bottle 1080p high def camera. The water bottle camera was a fan favorite of everybody. That's why I decided to bring it back and put it up against the coffee cups video. I will say that both of these two cameras are supposed to be pretty similar and they were made by the same company. It was, it's just so pretty outside today at 80 degrees and bright and sunny. I could not, I just couldn't do this inside like I normally would. I had to do it outdoors, which is okay. You know, you get a better test that way. 
I got them both sitting right here beside each other, facing into the road. The water bottle needs water in it. It's very, very, it, it blow, it's blowing over very easily. So I should have put some water or some kind of drink in it before I come to sit down. Before I come to sit down. water bottle before I went to the mall and I did a lot of walking around and I learned very quickly that you really can't do that you really have to have it stationary somewhere there's no there's no kind of stabilization in these spy cameras at all so setting it somewhere and having it stationary just works better as I was shooting the footage from the water bottle and the coffee cup, because the lid to the coffee cup is, you know, it just sits there on top of it. There's nothing really attaching it in. Well, moving it, the lid fell off and hit the ground. It's immediately after that happened. Now, when I power it up, the light just stays on. I very seriously doubt that it's recording anything. So obviously this coffee cup camera doesn't take bumps very well. I definitely recommend it, just don't drop it. With that said, I can't get any more footage from the coffee cup. So if you're interested, I will put a link in the description below, but I will give at some point down the road, these, or at least the water bottle will enter one of my giveaways. And this, if I can get it fixed or get another one from the manufacturer, I will enter it into a giveaway down the road at some point too if something like this is what you're looking for and with contest being talked about we are nearing the as far as i'm gonna let the um, smoke detector camera contest go uh, i'll give it a few more days so if you have not entered that contest yet make sure you go the link to the video where i explained what you needed to do will be in the description bar below make sure you go enter that contest if you have not done so already to try and uh, see if you can win a smoke detector spy camera. With that being said, I'm gonna end this video now. I wanna thank you all for watching and I will see you again tomorrow. I hope you have a great day and I hope all of you stay warm up there.